Dumbledore wants you to go to his office for another lesson. Harry, when you see Dumbledore, don't say anything about Malfoy. He's up to something. He's sneaking around and he's even ditched Crab and Goyle. Yes, I admit that is out of character. But you don't have evidence that he's doing anything. If he's not, then why is he sneaking around the seventh floor and... The seventh floor? That's it! He's using the Room of Requirement! That's why he keeps disappearing off the Marauder's map. Well, if he is using the room, he won't be able to see what he's doing in there. That's why we used it for DA meetings. Concentrate on your lesson with Dumbledore. He's waiting for you in his office. I am too. Are you alright? Come on, what's the matter? It's silly. A Slytherin stole my gobstone. It's a noisy hit and my mum got me for Christmas. Who was it? Him. Wait here. I'll get your gobstone back. Hey, did you take a noisy hitter from the girl over there? What's it got to do with you? Give it back. What are you going to do? Jinx me. I'm sure Professor Snape would love to know you've been jinxing Slytherins. He might even give you detention. Stupefy! Potato! Stupefy! Expelliarmus! Hand over that noisy hitter. I hope it gobs all over you. And next time, think twice before you bully someone. Here you are. Thanks! Harry, you're the best! Uh, acid pops. Good evening, Harry. Professor, about Malfoy and... Snape. Professor Snape. I've told you, Harry, I trust Severus. My answer has not changed. Now, to the business at hand. I have not been able to find many memories of Tom Riddle at Hogwarts. I did, however, find this one. Good gracious, look at the time. Off you go, boys. The strange Avery, don't forget your essays. Look sharp there, Tom! No, Tom, I don't know anything about war crises. But I wouldn't tell you if I did. Now get out of here. I don't understand. What happened? Professor Slughorn has tampered with his memory. Harry, I asked you to get to know Professor Slughorn. 
Now, I want you to persuade him to divulge his true memory. Any way you can. That memory is everything. But I believe you have Quidditch practice. You'll find your way there more easily now the orders have opened more of the castle. Good day, Harry. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Hello, Harry. Professor McGonagall's looking for you. Do you know what she wants? No, but she's waiting for you in the Transfiguration Courtyard. Sounded important. Hermione and I are looking for Professor McGonagall. Ah, Professor McGonagall is in the Transfiguration Courtyard at the moment. You should make your way there. Rather insistent. Ah, there you are. I wanted to talk to you after the unfortunate events at the Burrow over Christmas. Why is it always you? Mm -hmm. When something happens? Believe me, Professor. I've been asking myself that for years. I heard you've joined the dueling club, Harry. I think you should follow his example, and the Weasleys, too. You can't be too prepared. Don't limit yourself to your friends in Gryffindor, mind. Ah, here's the person we were waiting for. Hi, Harry. Alanis here is captain of the Ravenclaw dueling club. You come along with me, Miss Granger, and we'll sign you up with Gryffindor Dueling Club. Would you like to practice casting Levy Corpus with us? I've always wanted to learn that spell. Okay. <laughs> Levy Corpus! <laughs> Thanks for teaching us that. Be careful, though. You might find some Ravenclaws casting at you in future duels. Let's try a proper duel while you're here. Ravenclaws junior champion against Harry Potter. you can use that portrait shortcut over there. The password is light against darkness. Why don't you try our dueling challenge? Just go to the notice board when you're ready to give it a go. I believe you're due at a Quidditch training session. I am rather hoping Gryffindor will win the Quidditch Cup this year. Get yourself along there, Potter. Great Quidditch teams are not built on tardiness.
Hey, Nick! Ready for Quidditch, Harry? The team is waiting for you at the training ground. Light against darkness. Down, boy. Always get some excited. Pass, friend. Seeker practice. Personally, I think we need a better defence. The other teams have got really good keepers. We haven't a luxury. Ron's doing better than you could, McClagan. Just offering some friendly advice. One keeper to another. Well, take your advice out of our training room. You're not on the team, McClagan. Hello, Harry. Are you ready for potions? I've looked, but I can't find anything on Horcruxes in the library. I've been thinking. Maybe, if you make a really good potion in today's lesson, it will put Professor Slughorn in a good mood. Then he might tell you what he's hiding from Dumbledore. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Oh no! McLagan! He makes Grawp look like a gentleman. I'll see you in potions. Hey, Granger! Granger! So, is she seeing McLagan? Well, they went to Slughorn's Christmas party together. But it didn't go well. Yeah? Come on, let's go after Hermione. Let's go to potions. Mum and I need to get to potions. And you fancy some conversation on your way to the potions classroom?
Hello, Potter. I'm a member of the finest duelling club in Hogwarts, Slytherin. We've noticed that you're quite the duelist. I therefore permit you to challenge me to a duel. Uh, no thanks. We're on our way to potions. I'm not asking you, Potty. I'm telling you. Super five! Level quarter! I didn't really try anyway. Come along to our dueling club in the paved courtyard for a real challenge. Why is Slytherin such bad losers? Come on, let's go to potions. into a wall in Quidditch or something. What's the matter? Someone's done something to my books. And the stupid things won't stop flying around. Come down! Right. Have you tried anything other than shouting at them? Like Wingardium Leviosa? No. I wish one one was here. He'd do something. Have you seen him? No. Here, if I cast Wingardium Leviosa on your bag, I can try and catch the books in it. You've got one! Get in the bag, you books! Thank you. One more news. Ron? Uh, yeah, I have. He was in the divination tower. Why would he go there? He doesn't do divination anymore. He said he wanted to ask something important about his future. It must be about us. That's why I like my one one so much. He's always thinking about us. Thanks. Are you ready for potions, one one? Pack it in. Quickly now, quickly. We have lots of work to get through, starting with antidotes. Now, what about this poison here? Any suggestions? Miss Granger, of course. It requires a very complex antidote. But I think you should start with a drop of castor oil. Good, good. Harry, my boy, any suggestions? Uh, yeah. You could do that. Or you could just shove a bazaar down the victim's throat. Yes, yes. A bazaar would certainly do the trick. Excellent, my boy, excellent. <laughs> a good potion maker always knows how to counteract the potions they are making. Which brings us to the task at hand. Brewing an elixir to induce euphoria. 
can induce excessive singing and nose tweaking if you don't put enough peppermint in. Mint sprigs. Please, leave us a little air in the room, Harry. We are good at you, don't you? Shrivel thing. Tom Riddle, didn't you? Mr. Riddle had many teachers whilst here at Hogwarts. I know, sir. You must get fed up of questions about Voldemort and Horcruxes. I'd ask you not to talk about this subject. But, sir... Dumbledore put you up to this, didn't he? Didn't he? I just want to know about Tom Riddle. You're giving me a bazaar. I need a good mark in potions. I had to soften Slughorn up so I could ask about Voldemort. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get something to eat. McGonagall wants to see you in the astronomy tower. So why would she send someone from Slytherin? I'm not your personal messenger. Go and ask her yourself. But the Aura's shut the astronomy tower. Then they've obviously reopened it, haven't they? I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Have the Auras reopened the Astronomy Tower? I believe they have, yes. Libraries Liberate. You speak the password, so may pass. Boiled beetle. They're watching us. They're all watching us.
moron, Potter. Um, a moron free view? Oh, too late. You're the moron who's turned up to see someone who's not even here. Malfoy sent that message. Yeah, get him. You get him. Let me call him. Stupefy. Let me try. Come on then, Potter. Somewhere you won't find him. You're not supposed to tell him that, stupid. Doesn't matter. He won't get out of there. Will he? So Crab and Goyle attacked you? What's strange about that? Malfoy wasn't with them. Sometimes he's not even visible on the Marauder's map. Look! You must be missing him. I mean, he can't just disappear, can he? Maybe Hermione's right. Maybe I should forget about Malfoy and concentrate on Slughorn. But how am I supposed to get to his memory? I don't even know what a Horcrux is. Ron! Beautiful, isn't it? The moon. Uh, yeah. I can't stop thinking about her, Harry. I love her. But do you think she even knows I exist? Well, she's been snogging you for months. Snogging? I've never snogged Romilda. Romilda? Ron? Did you eat these chocolates? They're from Romilda Vane. They're full of love potion. Romilda. Do you know her, Harry? Can you introduce me? Yeah, she's, uh, she's in Slughorn's office. Yes, she's definitely there. Follow me. Hi, Ron. Have you done your potions homework? Oh, honey. You're a girl. I'm surprised you noticed, Ronald. I think Romelda would like flowers or chocolates. Don't mind him. He ate some love potion. I'm taking him to Slughorn's office. To see Romelda? Ah, oh, Romelda. Nick! Oh, Mr. Weasley! I love her, Nick. I love her. Where is she? Uh, where is who? Romelda Vane. She's in Slughorn's office, Ron. Ah, uh, no! I do believe I saw her in the Great Hall. No, no, you didn't. She's definitely in Slughorn's office. Come on, Ron! Leave me alone. 
I was going to introduce me to Emilda Vane. One more? I'll explain later. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. I need some help. Where is she? What's the matter with Wenby? Weasley, sir. Emilda? That's a pretty name for a pretty whip. He's accidentally taken some love potion. I see the problem. Come in, I've got the necessary ingredients here in my bag. It's not a difficult antidote. I think we'd better make it quickly. Those eyelids open! Wakey, wakey! is your allotted time, I'm afraid. Put your ingredients down and look this way, please. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. I need some help. Where is she? What's the matter with Wenby? Weasley, sir. Romilda? That's a pretty name for a pretty witch. He's accidentally taken some love potion. I see the problem. Come in, I've got the necessary ingredients here in my bag. It's not a difficult antidote. I think we'd better make it quickly. Castor oil. At least it doesn't smell as bad as it tastes. of Gurdy Root.
All right, my boy. A little tonic for your nerves. What happened to me? Love potion. I feel really bad. Drink this. And a little pick-me-up for you too, Potter. <coughs> Ron? Ron? Professor, help him! What? What? Poisoned? He's been poisoned? A bizarre, brilliant thinking! You've just saved Wemby's life, my boy! Have you seen him, Wiley? Oops. Pity you can't make a potion to help Ron with Lavender Brown. It was lucky you thought of that bazaar last night, Harry. It was lucky there was one in the room. Come on, it's almost time for the match against Hufflepuff. I'll see you at the Quidditch pitch. Are you there, Nick? All set and hurry. Hufflepuff are waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch. Good luck. Kadugan. Good morning. Time for breakfast, I'd say. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hear Weasley's in the hospital. Yes, he's... Then you'll need a new keeper. And as I was best in the trials, I'll see you in the end. Ron was best at the trials! But we're stuck with you.
Mission Seeker hasn't seen the snitch mode. Oh, now he has. And the chase is on. Hubble does score! Well done! Look out! Look out! Ow! That looked like it hurt. Well done, everyone! Told you I should be in goal. Ron will be back from hospital soon. Then he'll be back in goal. Yeah, sorry, McLaggen. Well played, everyone. Tell me again how I broke up with Lavender. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm bloody thrilled we did. It's just she seems a bit put out. Don't you remember anything from that night? Oh, honestly, Ron! It's not my fault. I was poisoned. It must be a side effect. Well, you're not the only one out of hospital. Katie Bell is back. I saw her in the Great Hall. Now we can find out who gave her that necklace. She can tell us who cursed her. Give me a moment. I know you're going to ask, but I don't know who cursed me. I've tried to remember, but I just can't. Confess what you did, Malfoy. Tell me what you're planning.
own potter. Don't touch me! Don't you dare touch me! We need to get you to the hospital wing. And you, Potter, where did you learn that spell? I... it was in a library book. Liar! You are to gather all your school books, all of them, and bring them to me here immediately. So, I gave Ron's book to Snape instead. And you used a spell you didn't recognize on Draco. I didn't mean to. He was trying to curse me and I... I just... You have to get rid of the book. And I know just where you can hide it. The Room of Requirement. If you want to conceal something, this is where you come. Close your eyes. There. Now no one will find it. I've got a secret too. So did you and Ginny do it? What? Hide the book. Oh, yeah. Somewhere in the room of requirement. Even I don't know where it is. Well, I think it's a good thing. I mean, using an untested spell on someone. I know. At least you can concentrate on your proper mission for Dumbledore. You haven't had much luck so far, have you? No. Maybe luck is what it will take. It's time I got lucky. Well, how do you feel? Great. In fact, I think I'll take a walk to the Herbology Greenhouses. You need to find Slowcorn, Harry. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Or, at least Felix does. You're so clever, attacking Draco like that. He was going to use Cruciatus on me. Now we're going to use Stupefy on you. You really don't want to fight me tonight. Let me call back. Hit him! Oh, get him! need luck to beat you.
That's a venomous tentacular. Merlin's beard. Its leaves are quite valuable, aren't they? Yes, I'm not interested in selling them, of course. My interest is purely academic. Not that this specimen would fetch many galleons. Have you tried using a dragon dung fertiliser on it? You think that would work? Ah, oh, yes. I have a feeling it will. Sloth brain. Hurry, hurry, time and potion rain. Almost there, keep up the good work. Dragonfly thoraxes. Over there, keep up for good work. One, one. Shall we try it, sir? Spectacular! A dab hand at herbology, too. But you shouldn't be walking about at night, Harry. Actually, sir, I'm just about to go for a walk down to Hagrid's. Ah, I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to go off walking the castle grounds alone. Well, by all means, come with me, sir. I knew you'd come to Morin, old Aragog. My oldest friend, he was. Aragog? A giant spider. An acromantula that lived in the forest. Hagrid counted him as a friend. Even though it tried to eat me. <laughs> he was just being friendly. <laughs> Hagrid, not to be indelicate, but acromantula venom is very valuable. Would you mind if I extracted a vial or two? Then maybe spoke a few words over the deceased. Oh, Aragog. I'll miss you, old friend. <laughs> Farewell, Aragog, King of Arachnids. May your many-eyed descendants ever flourish. A toast to the funeral of a friend. I'm so sorry for your loss, Hagrid. To, to Aragog. Aragog. Do you know why I survived? The night. 
Voldemort killed my parents. Oh, don't, my boy. Your mother. Oh, she was one of my absolute favorites. She sacrificed herself for me. For everybody. Professor, I'm going to tell you something. It's true. I am the Chosen One. Only I can kill Voldemort. But I need your memory to do it. I need that memory so my mother's sacrifice wasn't for nothing. Here. Yeah. Don't think too badly of me. You don't know what he was like. Even then. I think Dumbledore will want to see you. Now you have my memory. I have to go to Professor Dumbledore. Have you seen him? Well, you should really be in your dormitory, but if you're set on seeing him, he can be found in his office. Lumos! Look who's still creeping about. I haven't got time for this. You're going nowhere. Stupefy! Potter. Malfoy will join his loser father in Azkaban before he ever beats me. Sir, I've got it. I've got the memory from Slughorn. This is spectacular news. I knew you could do it. Harry, quickly. Look sharp there, Tom. Now, at last, we shall see. Poor Cruxes. That's very dark stuff indeed, Tom. To make one, you would have to split your soul. And to do that, well, murder. Killing rips the soul apart. To think of doing that once is a violation against nature, but seven times. So, Horace told Tom Riddle about Horcruxes. You see, a Horcrux is an object in which a person has concealed part of their soul. And while the Horcrux exists, that person cannot die. Do you think that's what Voldemort has done? He succeeded in making a Horcrux. Oh, he succeeded. And not just once. He made seven. He tore his soul into seven pieces. One resides within him, the other six. Well, you uncounted one Horcrux here in your second year. Tom Riddle's diary. I have accounted for another in the form of this ring. That's how you hurt your hand. And that's where you've been going, to search for the Horcruxes. Yes, Harry. And I think... Perhaps I have found the third. When the time comes, I shall need your help to destroy it. And Snape's making you do the detention? No! He knows it's the deciding match. You'll have to fly instead of me. Dean can take your place as chaser. Gossiping when you should be waiting by my office, Potter. That will be ten points from Gryffindor. What for? I'm not late! I'm not late, sir. There's no need to call me Sir, Professor. I would have thought you had enough detentions after the incident with Draco Malfoy. Do you require another? Twenty points from Gryffindor. And go to my office. Gryffindor will just have to manage without their chosen one. Poor Gryffindor. Fourth place in the Quidditch Cup this year, I fear. Win that match, Ginny! Win the cup for Gryffindor! Where's Harry? Snape made him do detention. I'm flying as Seeker today. Great. If we win this game, we could win the cup. That's what I promised Harry we would do. We are going to win the cup. Stop being so sulky and let's look at the notice board for the warm-up Harry's planned. Right. Here's what we're going to do. Great! Stop. 
every one of you for a job well done what happened what happened we won how was the detention huh oh snape had me sorting rotten flobber worms tell the rest of the team congratulations for me will you you can tell him yourself i can't dumbledore's asked to meet me at the astronomy tower i think he wants me to go with him to look for a horcrux blimey be careful mate his note also said he wants me to take some Wiganwell potion first. I'd better get going to Potions Club to make some. I'll see you later. <laughs> 